everyone, how's it going? I'm Burns from Cape Audio College and the Pioneer DJ Academy here in Cape Town. And today we've got an exciting video where I'm going to be unboxing some of the brand new gear that has just been released. Uh, we'll be featuring the Pioneer 900 Nexus 2 as well as the CDJ 2000 Nexus 2. Pretty excited about this. Uh, some of the main features we got is, of course, the full color screen. Uh, we've got the eight color hot cues, but more than anything, being an audio college, you know we're all about the sound quality and we're looking at 96K 24-bit uh, bit depth on the audio. So yeah, let's take a quick look. All right, let me cut this open and see what's going on here. Obviously, we want to be quite careful because you never ever want to scratch up your brand new gear. So normally I just slice it and tear it. That way you don't get the blade near the product. But first look, of course, power cables. Uh, we've got one for uh, international and local power supplies. Um, and yeah, let's do this. Everything from Pioneer always comes out super protected. I mean, when you're looking at high-end audio equipment, you always want to do your best to keep it mint. As far as possible, as a gear junkie, I try and keep everything intact. So if you ever are inclined to sell some of your gear, you have all of the boxes and the packaging. Wow. Just feeling from the weight of this, I can feel there's quite a lot more technology that's gone into this um, than the 2000 and even the original, uh, should I say the 2000 Nexus and the original 2000. And when I compare it to the XDJ 1000, it's definitely a lot weightier. Wow, that's, that's, that's beautiful. Wow, this is completely different to what we've seen before. The first thing that I notice, of course, is this massive screen. We haven't powered it up yet, so we can't see how bright it is, but we'll do that in a second. Um, straight off the bat, you got four hot cues, where before you only had three. They're also quite different, where they used to sit a bit higher up. Um, yeah, and, and one noticeable difference that's kind of screaming right at you is the inclusion of the brand new Pioneer DJ logo. Way before it would just say Pioneer. They've rebranded and man, this thing is definitely beautiful. What I'm noticing first off the bat, most people thought that they were doing away with disk drives, but actually it still has a disk drive. And I'm pretty sure that it is multi-format, uh, bearing in mind that one of the best features is that this is now a complete solution for all your audio formats. It includes FLAC, it includes 24-bit uh, wave, it includes uh, MP3s, and pretty much anything you can think of, this uh, deck will play now. So, let's have a look at this. I must say, I'm, I'm quite impressed by the weight. I, I always felt CDJs felt a bit light, but I'm guessing most of the technology is now in the screen and it's got a lot more meat to it. Um, as I mentioned, just so that you can have a quick look at it, we've got four hot cue buttons, um, but they say A to, B, A to D on this side and then E to H, which means it's bankable. So you hit the bank button on the one side and it will then be these four, hit the one on the other side, and it will be the others. Again, another noticeable difference is uh, just the reverse switch, where in the past you had uh, reverse, but if you wanted slip reverse, you'd have to activate slip, where now you've actually got slip reverse, where instead of just pushing it up to go backwards, if you pull it down, it will slip reverse, and, and you know it's all about that slip mode. Um, looking at the back panel, we've still got our standard RCA and digital inputs with link um, and obviously USB for HID mode when you are using it with DVS. And obviously being record box enabled, this is plug and play um, HID compatible with the brand new record box 
software that uh, is coming out, or should I say is available for the public, um, unlike where you need to install drivers with Tractor or with Serato, you can literally plug straight in and Rekordbox DJ will work straight away. Now, uh, what else looks new over here? Ah, so I'm checking out, um, up at the browse, in the browse section, we've got four buttons around the, the browse um, uh, wheel where you can actually tag your track, go back in the menu, and then you've got track filter. That looks new. Uh, from the videos and things that I saw, they do have a new track filter capability where you can actually set up and you can search your tracks by key, um, by your rating, which is something you could never do before. Uh, you can set key, rating, BPM, anything that you configure in your record box, you can actually call it up there. But one of my favorite buttons of all is the shortcut one. Because nothing's worse when you're about four layers deep into your hard drive looking for a specific track and you suddenly go, you want to jump back to somewhere else. You can simply hit the shortcut key and that'll take you back even closer. Well, I, I think that's pretty much all we can see straight off the bat. I must say the shape is a little bit different from usual. It seems almost longer than, than normal where the 2000 Nexus seem to be more square. Uh, you've de definitely a bit longer. I'd, I'd like to see it next to um, uh, an 850 or the old 900 Nexus mixer just to see exactly how much that is. We will have it set up next to the 900 Nexus 2 a little bit later on just to give you some full shots of it all. But yeah, let's cut over and turn this bad boy on and see what's going on there. Right, before we actually go onto the turning this gear on, I want to open up the um, DJM 900 Nexus 2 which is a phenomenal mixer from the reviews, uh, from the introduction video. I think this is going to re revolutionize uh, DJing. Um, the A to D conversion is amazing. Uh, we, again, we've got 96K, 24-bit um, digital audio converted to 32-bit uh, digital to analog converter. So you really got high quality audio coming out of it. Some of the best sounding sounds um, that you'd come through. The, it also features 64-bit DSP on the effects processing. So you suddenly got a whole lot more memory and, and, and depth on your effects where before you could feel it slaving a little bit depending how many channels you were running through it where with the 900 Nexus 2, you definitely will not be feeling that. Again, we've got our power cables. Um, we've got a USB cable, because obviously this can now run as an audio interface. Um, yeah, let's try and get this out here. Again, as I said before, we try and keep the packaging as much as possible. Got your handy manual that was also in the CDJ that I didn't mention. Um, oh, you gotta love the new gear smell. Oh man, this is a beauty. Wow, this is amazing. The first thing that grabs my attention is the brand new X pad. Um, so, it kind of jumps out at you. And as a DJ that really enjoys using effects um, in my performance DJing, this is exciting. I've been playing around with the XDJ1000 for a few months now, and the best thing about it is the touch screen where you have instant access to your quantize settings. So if you want to go from an eight bar loop to a four bar loop to a two bar loop, it's really easy because it's right there. In the past, the XY on the 900 Nexus had a sweepable X pad where you could select your quantized size. With this, has got them all right here. And I'm like, oh, I'd like some uh, three quarters, please, sir. There we go. Uh, I'd like some quarters. Oh, there we go. And I can, man, that's 
If you like effects, if you understand how these effects works, this is why you want this mixer. Besides the fact that the X pad has changed, I can see straight off the bat, staring me in the face, FX frequency, which means that I can leave the lows off. Often when you're using things, uh, effects like delay, when the bass starts stacking, it, it really doesn't sound good. So I can now just select the high and the mid, just affect that, and the low end will be unaffected. And I think that is mint. What else do we have? Straight off the bat, two USB ports. Really building gear around where they see um, the DJ market going, where more and more DJs are using HID mode or using um, DVS systems. So having two USB inputs mean that you can actually do a seamless changeover without having to change cables. You simply go one DJ playing over here with his laptop, new DJ comes in, plugs in, puts his laptop down there. Bob's your uncle, you can leave without any hassles and cables over each other. Man, this, this also, it's, it's got a new feel. Uh, in the past, a lot of the, the, the Pioneer gear um, had a gloss finish where both the, the, the CDJ and the uh, DJM now has a, a sort of matte finish. What I like about that is you won't get any fingerprints on your gear because there's nothing worse than seeing that someone with greasy paws has been using your gear. This takes away from that. Big color effect knobs right in the middle. Man, that, oh, that's so beefy. You, you're not gonna miss that. And it feels so much better than before. All of the rotaries actually, they, they're quite, they've got tension to them so they don't just turn around. There's no plasticiness. They've all got a rubber feel except for the color knobs. Uh, which are aluminium, as in the past. But everything feels a lot better than before. Even the effects button, man, that's great. This is, this is, this is exciting. Ooh, what's that? Quarter jack or USB send return. So if you want to use an effects unit, in the past, you only had um, analog send and return. So you could use the RMX uh, 1000 or 500, uh, set your send and return, and that was it. Now it seems that they've got USB where you can use um, things like the RMX app for iPad, and you actually plug in your USB cable, that goes into the iPad, and you can use effects over send and return over USB. Again, if we just look at the back panel straight away, gold-plated connectors, you know those are always good. And the, you can see they reintroduced turntables into the arsenal because suddenly these uh, ground um, points are so much bigger and so much easier to turn where in the past they were quite small and they had like a, a rubberized um, end where now this is chunky and, and it's so easy to turn. So they're really looking at DJs using their turntables more. The, the PLX 1000 is an amazing turntable. It is, yeah, we won't even talk about other brands. Do it, do an AB and um, check it out for yourself. But the, the biggest difference on this that shows that they're actually trying to push vinyl more is that in the past you only had two phono ports, where now you've got four. So you can literally go four turntables if you wanted to, where up until, or should I say, since the demise of vinyl, uh, you could only ever do two turntables and maybe two CDJs, where now you can do three deck if you want to. Carl Cox will be happy about this one. He can do his three deck mix again. and. Same, uh, we've got our, our balanced output, XLR and RCA, including a record out and a booth out, uh, which is great. Uh, digital, yeah, we've got two mic inputs. Man, that's awesome. One last thing, I'm really excited to try this out, and that's the, the new magnetic fader. I can feel it. it it's so much smoother. There's absolutely no tension 
I can feel there's no m moving parts, or should I say there's no friction between uh, the two that you, the, 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 the two connections that you'd normally have in an optical fader. Um, yeah, all these faders feel amazing. Um, the fader curves have been changed. Oh wow, look at that. They've added a mini jack input. So now you've got your quarter inch and a mini jack. So many DJs always asking, can I use your headphone converter? No sir, you may not. You can now plug straight in. This is great for playing back to back where you can actually have two DJs with two sets of headphones plugged in. That's amazing, can't wait to try it. Um, the color effects seem a little bit different. And then something else that shouts you right in the face is the new clip indicators. In the past, DJs would red line and you never quite know when the, when the audio is actually distorting when now you've got a clip indicator and hopefully this will cause guys to not get so close to the limits. But cool, we're gonna plug these guys in and yeah, they will give you some close-ups.